Hey guys, it's Mr. Garrity and the boys. I'm here with Joseph today. Say hi, Joe. Hi. And today <clears throat> we're going to do a little work with a hundreds chart. Okay, a hundreds chart is a great tool to work on a lot of math skills. And as you can see, there's a lot of the red squares that are missing. So Joe's trying to figure out where these numbers go. What do you got there, Joe? Number four? How did you figure out it went there, Joe? B because... Uh, Let me help you. Oh, you four got goes it. before five. Four goes before five. Very 49. good. 49. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. It fits right there between what two numbers? 48 and 47 and 50. 48 and 50. 49 Where's falls 15? right. 15. Six. What do you have there? 15. 15. Very good. Don't try not to bend them, Joe. So we're going to just put the rest of these away and then we're going to complete our 100 chart. And there's a lot of activities we're going to do using this 100 chart. Including work with odd and even and seeing patterns and all kinds of things like that. What number do you have there, Joe? This is... What number is that? Do you know what number? 32. Huh? So it goes before 33, right? What do you got there? Six. What's the number? 42. 42. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's interesting. How did you know it went there? Because, because that was first spot a 40, so. Well, this is 39, so this would be 40. So that would be 41, and you're right, 42. That was really good, Joe. Wow. What number do you have there? Uh -huh. 80. No, I don't think it goes there, because look at 50, 60. 70, it would go, oh, look at this, Joe. They're going up by what? 50, 60, 70, 80? They go up by what? No, um, the, oh, I have got. Okay, that's not what we're going to explore as we do our hundreds chart activities. Well, thanks a lot for putting those in for me, Joe, and we'll see you later, right? Say goodbye, Joe. Bye. Well, you got to look at the camera. Come on, Joe, say Bye. goodbye. Bye.